So for this video, we're just going to give you a brief guide into two milk alternatives that we carry in all of our cafes. And that's going to be oat milk by Oatly and almond milk by Califia Farms. So we're going to pull two shots and make two different cappuccinos utilizing these different milks just to show you the texture that you're going to get in both of these drinks. The way that almond milk and oat milk are produced is relatively similar, involving different elements being soaked in water and then basically blended and strained to create these milk alternatives which has been really popular for anybody who just does not want to drink whole milk for whatever reason, whether it be personal or dietary. So we're going to start with oat milk. Oat milk is a great alternative to whole milk because it is relatively similar in texture, but it is great among vegans and people with gluten intolerance. And it also only takes about 48 liters of water to produce one liter of oat milk, making it really environmentally sustainable. Oat milk steams really, really well. It has about a three to four percent milk fat, so you'll notice that when you're steaming it and then when you're pouring it into your cappuccino or whatever kind of espresso drink you're making, it's gonna be really smooth, rich, and luxurious in whatever drink that you're producing. You'll notice that it also has amazing contrast. The flavors of Oatly are really subtle and sweet. So the pairing of Oatly with espresso has made it a really delicious drink and a lot of people have become massive fans of the super popular milk alternative. Next is almond milk. Almond milk has pretty much been an industry standard for some time now. I will say that almond milk does require about 384 liters of water to produce one liter of almond milk. So it is not the best for the environment, but it is still a little bit better than regular cow's milk, which takes about a thousand liters of water to produce one liter of cow's milk. So it does have a little bit of an advantage there. It also only has a one and a half to 2% milk fat. So it is a little bit better for people who have some dietary restrictions and don't want something as full fat as the other milks. You will notice in steaming that it is a bit thinner, but overall it does carry a sweetness and a little bit of a dryness and nuttiness that can be really interesting when paired with espresso. I hope this has helped and that you'll maybe try one of these milk alternatives next time you're in the cafe.